Hi, this is Dr. Proactive Randy Gilbert, producer of InsideSuccessRadio.com, and I invite you to take a moment and listen to this powerful interview segment so you can be more proactive and successful. Let's return to the path to triumph with the Inside Success Show. Welcome back to Inside Wealth Success. This is your host, Jay Aaron. Today we're talking with Mr. Mitchell W. Roth, author of Tax Back America, The 2% Solution. And in this segment, we're going to delve deeply into this 2% solution. You're going to find out what it is, why Mr. Roth has proposed it, and what you can do about it. So, Mitchell... In the first segment, you shared with us about your path to citizen advocacy, and here's your chance to be more specific about why you've written this book, Tax Back America, The 2% Solution. So tell us a little bit more about that. I think this may be the most important question that you can ask because the answer illustrates the common experience that we all share. Now, what do I mean? I think we all share the existential question of why do I exist? Sometimes of ourselves, sometimes we ask of God, but we all yearn, it seems, to matter. Now, I'm no different. The answer is rooted in the soil of the human desire to matter. Now, I'm 56 years old now, Jay. I've taken a lot of roads on my life's journey. Many have seemed to be dead ends. Some seem exotic, some quite conventional. But after a while, uh, I've been able to see that at at the intersection of where all of the roads of my life have uh, met, uh, most clearly uh, what's been motivating me has been love and anger. Now, the expansion of my capacity to love is not something that many lawyers talk about in my experience. But that's uh, led me to understand that all of the children on this planet are our children, and all of the adults are brothers and sisters. Now, this... I would submit, is the underpinning of the golden rule. The most basic premise of the Judeo-Christian ideal. It is, I was surprised to learn, uh, the cornerstone of Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, Shintoism, and secular humanism as well. But anger, I think, maybe really answers the question best, because my anger has led me to the issues that I feel most deeply must change about society, about how it's organized politically, culturally, and economically. You know, when, when my professional path led me to estate planning, by definition, this was a service performed for the rich and for the near rich. First, they are the ones who can afford the service, and second, society preached to them the need to do that kind of planning. But I found myself getting angry. Why? Because first, the basic tools of estate planning were needed more by the middle class, and they were not getting it. They were not getting to know, understand, and implement them. By needing them more, what I mean is is that in real human terms, the suffering and grief that's caused by the failure to plan for the certainty of death and the likelihood of long-term disability was greater for them than it was uh, for the rich. Now, my anger about this reality caused me to write that book we talked about earlier, How to Create Your Living Legacy, How to Create Your Legacy and Save the American Middle Class, and to create the Legacy Trust Package, which, as far as I know, is the only simple English estate planning forms package that's effective in all states. By simple English, meaning anyone with a ninth grade education could understand the documents and what they say and what they do, thereby eliminating the need for a lawyer. Now, it's appropriate for anyone without estate tax concerns, which, as the law is now, means anyone who's not a millionaire. But it also became more and more important, apparent to me uh, that as a result of my work as a lawyer and as a result of my experience as someone who's middle class myself, that the law in general and the tax law in particular gave enormous benefits and advantages to the rich. But interestingly, it wasn't until I started studying the Torah, the five books of Moses, that I started to be able to think outside the box about this issue. I explain that in detail in my book. Suffice it to say, it was a combination of these experiences that created the imperative to write Tax Back America and to change the direction of my career from lawyer to author, social and political advocate, and public speaker. I hope that answers the question. 
Well, let's let's take that a little deeper because you you just said something uh, interesting to me. You said think outside the box, and I think that you're saying think outside the box in reference to solving individual and societal problems. So, what does that mean to you? What's What's outside the box about Tax Back America? Well, the basic premise is essentially this. Now, this is a question. If you... Hi, this is Dr. Proactive Randy Gilbert. Thank you for listening to InsideSuccessRadio.com. Now I want to invite you to listen to this entire interview for free. All you have to do to get VIP access is to type in the link as you see it below. In addition to this powerful interview, you'll be able to hear many other of your favorite celebrities such as Jack Canfield, Mark Victor Hansen, Robert Allen, Zig Ziglar, and dozens of others. Plus, there are thousands of dollars in valuable bonus gifts just waiting for you to redeem them. Go ahead, type in the link that...